going sideways into the waves. So we were rocking back and forth, back and forth. And that is when people get seasick the most. It's not when you go head first into waves, but when you go back and forth. And the waves had not gotten any smaller, so when we were getting into these waves, we were getting we were getting fucking horizontal. Like shit was like 90 degree angles. Shit was getting real. You had to hold on to stuff in order to stay from falling over. It was so crazy. And <laughs> so that is when, that moment, when we started going back and forth, people started throwing up. It was like, a con if you had just that music, that like, ha, 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 if that was going on, and there's just people in slow motion, just puking everywhere, ev covering walls, every everything, anywhere that people were sitting, there was puke. There was puke over here. There was puke over here. Just in puddles. They didn't even make it. They didn't even make it to the washroom. They just started puking everywhere. There was just puddles of shit everywhere. Just puke here, puke here, puke all over the main. I'm still here playing GameCube the whole time this is happening. People are just vomiting everywhere. Shit. They're making it halfway. Like here's the bathroom here. They're making it in here. They're throwing up and they're shit. They're just throw it. There is puke everywhere. Everywhere you can go, there is puke. It is just absolutely surrounding me. All you can hear is a orchestra of heaving. You can't, because remember I said the boat was dead silent? All you can hear is It's all you can hear. It just I can, everybody, a whole group of just hundreds of people vomiting everywhere. It was disgusting. I was, all I could do, if I wasn't playing the GameCube, I would have been throwing up as well. I didn't have, I was one of the only people, I was one of the only people that didn't eat, and so I was kind of okay. I was still feeling real nasty, because people were just vomiting everywhere. <laughs> and so, this is, this is all happening at once, and I get to the point where I was like, okay, I need to really get up and walk around and see what the hell is happening. I hadn't seen anybody for a while. So I get up, and I get off of here. And I'm like, I'm like zigzagging, I'm like pulling like super ninja moves, trying to like stay, like standing up because of the rocking waves, and I'm just trying desperately not to get, step into any of these piles of puke, and so I come over here, and I come to this door, right here, okay? I come to this door. Not very effective pathing, if you tried to walk in this boat, when it was going sideways, your pathing would be kind of messed up too. It would be like a dragoon in friggin' brood war. The worst pathing known to man. So I get up to this door. Okay? Right here. And I go, because I have to pee at this point. I've, I've got a leak, I've got a piss, and I re I've been holding it in. I didn't want to go to the washroom because I knew the washrooms would be covered in vomit everywhere. And I went, oh geez, I have, to, I have to do it. I have to, have to, have to do it. And so I open this door right here. And it didn't, the water didn't rush over my feet because there was a dip, about a 10 inch dip that you walk down into to get into this part right here. And so the water didn't come rushing over, but I opened the door and it's just 8 inches of seawater and vomit and piss and toilet water all mixed up, all swirling around and just fl everywhere. It was the most disgusting. It was like going down, there was a staircase like right here. And the water was like swirling around and then draining down into the floor below it. And it was the most disgusting thing you've ever seen. I went, and I went oh my god, because this is the only bathroom on the entire ship right here. I went, oh my god, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I had to pee, I had to do it, I had to piss, I had to do it. So, uh, I waited until some of the water was drained. It went down into the next deck. And I was only walking in about two inches of water, so my shoes were getting wet, but they weren't getting soaked. And I get into the bathroom, okay? I come into the bathroom here. And here are the stalls on the back side. Stalls here. And over here, there are urinals lined up. And there's just water and vomit and piss and everything swirling around in here like a, a big giant thing of, of death. No, there, it wasn't unisex. Um, there was a dividing wall, like here. So if you went in this wall, it was female, and if you went in this wall, uh, or this this hallway, it was male. So I was over here. 
And so I get in here, <laughs> and there are people in here who are just vomiting like crazy. They're they're kneeling in this piss, shit, vomit water in here, kneeling over toilets, heaving and just puking everywhere. And they're so they're in their own puke and vomit. They're in other people's piss and vomit, and shit is getting real. And I'm walking in, and all I can hear is this happening. And I look in, and people had gotten so desperate that they were vomiting in the urinals. They were vomiting in the urinals. And so I went over the urinals, and now I could see his puke all up there. There was one urinal without any puke in it. And I said, screw it, that's got to be the one I go into. And remember, this is still... <laughs> the boat is still going sideways, so I'm barely able to stand right now. So I, it's this urinal right here. And so I get in there. But the waves are rocking so hard... I'm holding myself up by one hand, my other leg, or my other knee, is holding myself up on the other side so I can get this friggin' piss on, and I it took me forever, and I almost didn't do it, I finally got it, but one of my, one of my friends is in here, I went out and I heard a, uh, and I looked around, and it was one of my friends in here in the bath, they were passed out, they had thrown up so much that they passed out on the toilet bowl, and was just going, uh, wasn't even moving. Not the eyes weren't open. I don't even know if they were awake. They might have just been passed. Just uh. and I was like, great, this is fantastic. So I said, screw this, f that noise. I'm getting the hell out of here. So I get the hell out of there, and I go back to the GameCube and I'm playing the GameCube for a second. And then I decided, okay, I haven't seen Ryan for a really long time, like a really long time. So I came out of here, and I went over here first. I went into this hall, and I went into the first quiet area, on my route. I wanted to see where everybody was. And so I came into the quiet room, and I walked in, and it was like a horror film. The lights were dimmed, completely. There were bunk beds all up in here. This orange square represents one of the bunk beds and where this thing happened. And I was walking in, and it was silent. Dead silent, except for weeping. You could hear weeping. And I'm looking, I'm going, what is that sound? Who is crying so hard? And I go over... And in the bottom bunk of one of the bunks, here's one of these guys I know, who I went to school with, obviously, he's on the trip, and he's sitting next to his girlfriend at the time, who is on the bed, I swear to God, it was the exorcist, she was convulsing, she was convulsing, like going crazy, and like throwing up and convulsing, she was, I don't even know what it was. I don't know why she was convulsing, but she was convulsing like the fucking exorcist. And I looked at that, I stopped. I stopped dead. And I'm looking, and Casey, his name was, is just crying. He's just, oh my god, oh god, oh god, oh god why? Katie, why are you? He's just crying his eyes out, crying his eyes out. And I'm looking at him and go, what the hell is that? I looked at her and I said, okay, I'm going to keep going. I don't want to stick around for this shit. So I, I kicked it. And I went up here, and there was no one in the forward deck, so I came back around this way. And I walked, <laughs> I walked back in, and I walk into the room, and again, lights are dimmed. There's not a lot of go, not many, there's only two people in the room, plus a couple of nurses. Okay? Ryan is sitting in this, ch in this chair right here, he is the orange block. He is white as a sheet. White as a sheet. He is sitting back in the chair... His his forehead and face are covered in a cold cloth. He has his own personal nurse sitting next to him. He's got his cold cloth over his head. He always he chewed gum a lot of the time. He had uh, he had um, before he got his tonsils removed. He had sore throats all the time. So he was chewing gum, but the piece of gum was just hanging, hanging off of his lip because his mouth was kind of hanging open, and and it's just hanging off his lip and this. This is covering the cost is covering his face, and the nurse is next to him, just just sitting there, just watching him. I don't know. She maybe she expected him to die. I don't know, but she's sitting there, and he's just and he's not he's barely even breathing. And I came up to him. I was like, Ryan, buddy, buddy, are you okay? Are you are you doing? Are you all right? And he didn't even have the energy. He just kind of mustered up a, uh, yeah. and that was all it was. It was just, that was it, and that took all the energy out of him, he was sitting there. But behind him, there was the only other person in the room, right directly behind him. It was a woman, okay? And she had her own nurse, and her husband was sitting next to him. Or next to her. And she was crying 
hard, and she was puking like crazy, throwing up like crazy. She was throwing up so much that she started throwing up blood. That's how much she had thrown up at this point. Throwing up everywhere. Blood was coming out at this point. She had heaved so much she was, her stomach, she was throwing up acid and blood. And she was screaming at the top of her lungs, Am I dying? Oh my god, I'm dying! Aren't I? I'm dying! Oh lord, I'm dying! There's blood in my... Oh god, I'm dying! And the nurse is going, No, you're not dying, ma'am. You're not dying. You're okay. You've just done off. You're not dying. I'm dying, aren't I? Oh god, I'm dying! No, man! And Ryan... Ryan, who has a migraine right now, massive migraine, he's thrown up a lot, he was prone to migraines at the time, massive migraine, she's screaming this high-pitched voice. He mu He somehow bundled up all of the sh all of the remaining energy I don't even know it might have been adrenaline and he got up and he turned he took the cloth off his face he put the gum back in his mouth he turned around and screamed shut the fuck up lady you're not dying and that was it he turned around put the cloth back on his head gum went right back on his lip he was gone again white as a sheet and that was it that was over he was done <laughs> and the lady stopped she stopped dead never opened her mouth again and I was like okay Ryan's okay I'm gonna keep going so I went back I didn't go through this hall I went back around because this hall is still completely messed up and I went back to the GameCube and I'm still playing the GameCube and so at this point though people were throwing up so much that they were grouping people they were grouping people with uh, nurses because there was only so many nurses and so you had to get grouped with nurse uh, with a nurse and there was a group of students this is a bench right here okay this is a bench and there was about I'm not going to be able to draw them all but there was about like for all intents and purposes we'll have that there was about seven or eight people here okay and at the end of this I'll draw it in red was a nurse on this end and there was a nurse on this end okay And what was happening is I'm sitting here and I'm playing I'm playing GameCube. I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time. Is what was happening is at this end, this nurse right here would she had a stack of barf bags. Like you know those kind of those ones that you get on like boats or airplanes and shit. One of those. So she had that. And she was she would take the bag out and she would hand it to the first person. They would heave, throw up into the bag, okay, they would finish, they would pass it on to the second person. Second person, <laughs> throw up into the bag, puke and pass. Next person, <laughs> puke and pass. Next person, <laughs> puke and pass until the nurse, and this nurse had a garbage bag, and she would, after a while, would throw it out, and it, it was that for about three hours. One guy puked up 22 times. And I'm sitting here playing Mario Kart the whole time. All I can hear in the left side of my head is just people throwing up. At that point I was desensitized. I didn't give a shit. I was just playing my I was playing me some Mario Kart. People were dying all over the place. And so the last thing that happened before we finally things started panning out and slowing down on the ocean is there is and I, I can't even make this up. I swear to God I can't make this up. There is a group there's a group of older ladies, okay, sitting at this table here. Come on. Sitting at this table here, and they're playing cards, okay? There's a bunch of about 80 year old women playing cards here in this area. And we're still going sideways into the waves. And so if you're walking, you still get tossed around like crazy. You have to hold yourself up. And sometimes you even have to strategically ch you know, choose when you're going to walk. Otherwise you fall over. And a lot of people, or well, a lot of the things in the boat were anchored, like to the ground. The tables were anchored uh, and everything else were, uh, were anchored to the floor. But the chairs at these tables weren't. And so they're here playing, they're playing like poker or canasta or whatever the hell old people play. And they're sitting here playing it, and they're having a great time, and this one lady at this end of the table, this one right here, <laughs> she has a winning hand, and she throws, I swear to God, I can't make this up, she has a winning hand, and she throws that down on the table, and she screams, she goes, yeah, I won, or whatever the hell it was, if she was playing poker.